Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, this is Wednesday, April 7th. And let me tell you what happened this morning. Uh, I know y'all been praying. Okay, I woke up. And I was laying in bed, and my eyes were wide open, you know. I said, well, I might as well go ahead and get up. And I said, I'll sit up in bed, let my head get all feeling good, you know, because it's when you get first get up that you can tend to feel bad for a minute. So anyway, I just sat up in bed, and my eyes were like, I thought, oh, no, you're not. I, I didn't want to. My eyes wouldn't stay open. I started, first I prayed, and then I said, I rebuke you, Satan. Uh, you know, all the spiritual warfare stuff I do. I did the scripture, uh, I commit myself unto the Lord. Therefore, I rebuke you, Satan, and you shall flee. And, you know, all the stuff I say at night, I said it last night, you know. But it was like he was going to try to see if he could do it again. So I don't know what's been going on, if it was really an attack or uh, somehow the 5G's getting to me. I don't know. But this morning that worked and I opened my eyes and I was like, thank you, Jesus. And I got up and I stayed up. How about that? Praise the Lord. Thank you for your prayers. And I pray that the others we prayed for got an equally good report. I sure do hope so. I haven't heard yet. I have trying to go through email. And I should start at the bottom and go up. But I just happened to find this. Oh, this one came from Kathy at 3 something in the morning. And I'm like, don't these people ever sleep? But when some people, depending on their work schedule, find something and put it on bubble, if I keep my phone on, that little bubble boop sound, it wakes me up. So it probably woke her up. And she posted this. She sent me this. Now, I'm going to play just a minute of it for you. It's Marfugel. And I'm like, I, I commented don't you ever sleep or something like that? Do you ever sleep? Maybe he's got a bubble thing too. I don't know. But um, he titled it, Big Things Happen at Night. And let me back it up to the beginning. And I'll let you hear a little bit of it. And then you can go and listen to the rest. He's going to do a live stream this morning to update. Okay. It's popping. Uh, so I, I did feel like this was this was something that I needed to go on. Uh, I'm not sure. He said things are popping. I just didn't go back far enough. Anybody will show up to this night stream, but again, uh, there are some big things popping off. So just to let you know, as of about an hour ago, and uh, give or take, uh, there was news of some stuff going on with the I countries. Now, I uh, ran to the store uh, ended up uh, having some events happen. Did you get that? I ran to the store. Read between the lines. Opening and now is real. Is actually uh, basically saying that they are responsible. Is real. Uh, the U.S. is not saying they're responsible. So let me uh, let me just kind of confirm what what we're talking about here. Uh, let's see here. Go over to Twitter. It is breaking now that for the first time, uh, the I state media acknowledges that an I ran to the store ship in Red Sea is a revolutionary guard base, and it is currently under attack. And the United States, uh, as, as uh, according to the Associated Press, says it has no part in it. Furthermore, now there is some more stuff coming out that the uh, Israel is basically saying that they are uh, 
they are responsible. Now, this could be subject to change. I'll just say allegedly, supposedly. Yeah. At the same time, we have a huge update coming tomorrow. I'm probably going to do a live video in the morning about Russia, uh, the FAA. I think he means today because it's still night. <laughs> <sighs> he's probably going to grab a few hours of sleep and he means today, but he could mean tomorrow. I mean, it's confusing when you're up at three in the morning. Anyway, um, let me play just a second more. I'll back it up. I shouldn't have interrupted. We have a huge update coming tomorrow. I'm probably going to do a live video in the morning about Russia. Uh, the FAA uh, has basically sent out updates on what is going on with that. Uh, they have confirmed with the FAA, because they're doing no-fly zones right now, uh, that they are putting tanks, uh, anti-air, uh, basically everything in their arsenal on the Ukrainian border. Uh, they're rolling into Crimea. You, the Ukraine is actually rolling in tanks and all this stuff to their border. Um, again, a lot of people last week were saying, oh, it's probably just drills on both sides, and that's why they're they're lining up. Uh, now, if it was just one or the other, that would be one thing. But now we have basically things going uh, sour in like six different places. Okay, I, I went further than I meant to, but you got to hear a good little bit, about a third of it. And I'm going to end it here and get it up quick so y'all can um, hear it. Those of you who are up, <laughs> it's uh, like... Did I say what day it is? Wednesday, April 7th. It's 8.52 right now. And he wondered if anybody would be at his live stream. Yes, there's all kinds of folks saying, I can't sleep either. Well, folks, we don't need to lose sleep over what's going on. And that's where having faith in the Lord comes in. You go to bed knowing he's got this, no matter what. Psalm 91, you say Psalm 91 every night before you go to sleep. And it says in there, though a thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come near me. For I will only look on with my eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.